Listen, and this is the magic box. Hey, welcome to another edition of the magic box. And today's theme is money magic. Hey, we're going to have a lot of fun with money. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I'm John Carrington and welcome to the Magic Box. Uh, today's special Magic Box is about something that I love uh, very dearly, uh, something that I've found to be very helpful in everything I do in life, and that something is money. 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 Every time I get a chance, I go somewhere and I say, how can I make some magic happen with money? Why? Because everybody loves money <laughs> and if you can do a trick with money at some point people start paying attention to you why because their money is funny <laughs> and what a great way to get a laugh if you're talking about something that everybody has fun with uh, funny money I mean if you have a chance to uh, make money appear people will think you're a magician and they will pay you money to make magic happen. Why? Because the opportunity to earn is all around you. You have to reach out and use your gifts and your talents to make the money happen. Why? Because in life, he who has the goals gets the goal. <laughs> what, what am I saying? I'm saying he who has the goals gets the goal, gets the goal, gets the goal. He who has the goals gets the goal. He who has the goal gets the goal. Would you like to see me do that again in slow motion? Would you like to see that again in slow motion? Would you, would you like to see that again? In slow motion. Watch. One. Two. Three. Give yourselves a nice hand. And this is the Magic Box, and today's theme is Money Magic. Yeah! <laughs> I'll be right back. We'll take a break. Okay.
this is the Magic Box. I'm John Carrington, and I love to go to the dollar store and spend some dollars. <laughs> Why? Because I believe you can get more out of your money if you are thrifty and economical with how you spend it. And sometimes the dollar store is a good place to start. Well, for example, this little cloth here is a print of $100 bills. And uh, is, you can't spend this money, but that's okay. Because there's a trick that I love uh, in this cloth from the dollar store. Uh, this trick here has gotten me hired to do magic shows all over the world. North America, South America. Yeah, I've been everywhere <laughs> doing this trick. And it's one of my favorites. Here it is for you. Ta-da! <laughs> I'll do that again for you. Ta-da! <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Isn't that great how that worked? I'll do it again. Ta-da! Isn't that a great? Isn't that great? Isn't that a great trick? Isn't that amazing? I mean, it's it's a well, it's a. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Exciting now. Getting really exciting now. <laughs> oh, it's really getting exciting now. Oh. Okay. Money magic. I'd love to tell you how to do this trick. But I prefer that you go to the library and get a book. Uh, excuse me. Uh, go to a place where you can get expert information and ask the right questions. And they'll tell you which uh, <clears throat> person on the face of the earth can tell you how to do that trick. Or simply go to the library and get a book. <laughs> it's called Miser's Dream, Continuous Coins. Everybody, look for the Amateur Magician's Handbook by Henry Hay. Amateur Magician's Handbook, Henry Hay. And look in this section on money magic. And you too can learn continuous coins using a handkerchief and some magic. <laughs> hey, I'm John Carrington. This is the Magic Box. We'll be back with more great tricks that you can learn if you really want to have continuous learning. I'm too tired today. Well, did you stay up all night? Well, yes I did. What were you doing? Um, I was watching David Letterman! <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back. Uh, I, I have a good friend of mine I want you to meet. Her name is Mama Yaya. I want you to see what she has to say. Made her a 
old white lady, but we know the truth. Mama Yaya came from ancient, ancient times. And although I don't tell the future, I have cards to help us tell our history. They are old sepia prints, and on the back is lots of wisdom. And if you two want to help me, Ryan, pick a card, and I'll tell you secrets of ancient people that were left out of our history books. Let me see what you've chosen. Oh, a very prestigious card. Count T. Cullen, born 1903, and he died in 1946. He was a writer and a poet. You know poetry, right? Kelty Cullen was one of the strongest voices associated with the Harlem Renaissance, the flowering of black art and literature in New York City in the 1920s. Not much is known about his early childhood, except he was born County Porter and adopted by Reverend and Mrs. Frederick Cullen, who provided him with a fine education. He excelled in his studies. That means he did really, really good. He received honors in Latin, mathematics, English, history, and French. In 1925, he graduated Phi Beta Kappa from New York University. That's the best you can get. And published his first book of poems called Color. After receiving his master's degree from Harvard University, Cullen became an editor and critic and later wrote plays and novels. But it was his poetry that singled him out as a voice to be listened to. Though he wrote on universal themes such as love, religion, and death, the importance of his African American heritage in deftly applied traditional forms of verse using melodic meter and rhyme was important to introduce to African American themes. This photograph is courtesy of the Library of Congress. What a handsome man. Wasn't that great? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Ready or not, here I come. Mm. We see you, Gordy. Aw, oh, man. I can't play this game. That's okay, Gordy. Everybody's different. You're supposed to be shaped like that. We're round all over. Bodies come in all shapes and sizes. What's important is that you get exercise and eat healthy, fresh foods. Like what you get from a farm. Peaches. Watermelon. Strawberries. <gasps> well, this is awkward. It's cool. It's Fresh from the farm. Let's eat. Let's go to a farm. Hey, this is the Magic Box. I'm John Carrington, and welcome back. We're having a great time today with our theme of money magic. Why money magic? Well, because money is something everybody relates to, and you just can't pull money out of the air unless you're a magician. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of magic I like. <laughs> it's just a handful of $10 bills just come out of nowhere. Uh huh. Well, you can do it that way, or you can simply uh, reach in your wallet and uh, take out a, uh, a bill. And uh, show people a magic trick they can do with a simple bill. This is a regular American bill. This is the United States, uh, actually, a, the United States banknote here. So it's a nothing fancy, nothing fancy. And this right here is is a bill that you can use for a magic trick. I fold it down like this here. Fold it down like this here. And on the count of three, I'm going to say money magic. One, two, three, money magic. And what do you know? The face of that bill is now upside down. I'll do this again. Money magic. And the face of that bill is upside down. Money magic. The face of that bill is upside down. Now, on this edition of the Magic Box, I'm going to tell you how this trick is done. And then you can do this with any of the money in your wallet. In fact, if the, if the, that, if the magic doesn't work with the money in your wallet, send that money to me. And I will actually take a look at it and make sure it's good money. And if it's not good money, I'll keep it. And I'll save you the hassle of having to use that money. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the 
this will work with any money in your wallet. A dollar bill, a two dollar bill, a five, a ten. If you have a thirteen dollar bill, it would probably work with that, but I hope you don't. <laughs> okay, here's how it's done. You fold the dollar bill or the, or, the, or the bill lengthwise. That's the first move. It's got to be folded lengthwise. And then you fold it in half that way. Now the trick is set. Now here's the secret. Don't you worry about the front of this bill. If you worry about the front of the bill, the trick won't work for you. Why? Because you're trying to watch what's going on in the front of the bill. You start off with the, the picture on the front, and this picture happens to be Andrew Jackson. He's on the front of the bill. You fold the top down, and then you fold the bill in half. Now when you fold it in half, remember, you're going to hold on to the back part of that bill. That's this part back here. And you're going to simply let the bill unfold itself. Don't you worry about what's on the front. Because if you're trying to look at what's on the front, then that's going to spoil the trick for your audience. And then when you lift the front of the bill up, the character on the front of the bill, the president, President Andrew Jackson in this case, Andrew Jackson will be upside down. Now you do the same thing again. Fold the top down, fold the bill, and this time you're going to release the back of the bill. That's this part back here. You're going to release that. Keep the bill facing the audience. Open the bill up so that the audience can see the front of the bill. And lo and behold, Andrew Jackson is right side up again. I'll do it again. Get a wallet, get, get a dollar bill, $20 bill, doesn't matter what the size of the bill. Make sure your bill is folded lengthwise. Then fold it in half. And you start by showing the trick with the bill face up. The person on the front of the bill, Andrew Jackson in my case, is, is right side up looking at the audience. Don't you worry about the front of the bill. You know what's going to happen. So you fold the top of the bill down. Top down. Fold the back of the bill. Over. You grab the back. Release the front part. And lo and behold, Andrew Jackson is upside down. Don't you look at it. You know what's going on. You smile like you're a magician. And you already know this trick because you've done it and you've seen it before. Fold the bill down on the front. Fold it over. This time you're going to release the back of the bill. That's this part back here. You'll release that. And open up the bill. And Andrew Jackson is back, right side up, looking at you. I like to do it like this. Andrew Jackson looking at you. Andrew Jackson upside down. Andrew Jackson upside down. Andrew Jackson looking at you. Hey, this is the Magic Box. I'm John Carrington. We'll be right back with more money magic. Yeah! <laughs> okay, now. Hi, I'm Maddie Maduri reporting from the Magic Box. Oh my gosh, I was just at a magic show and you'll never guess what happened. A dove flew away. It's white with a little bit of brown and it lives on Bread Street. And it flew to the moon and then it came back down and it read it had big green glasses on and it had this star bow on its head for whatever reason and it flew to Mexico and it was wearing a blue shirt and then it came back to the Women's Heritage Center in Baltimore and it sat down and went to sleep in his cage. And that's all we have today on the Magic Box. Hey, we're on the road with the Magic Box.
Always uh, pay attention to your teachers, obey your parents, and always listen and learn. All right, this is the Magic Box where we learn to have fun and we do some things that are going to be amazing because you're going to be a learner and a person who uses the information. This is the light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This is the light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine, this the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, 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 let it shine. Deep inside my heart, I'm gonna let it shine. Deep inside my heart, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine all around my friends. I'm gonna let it shine. My friends, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, 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 let it shine. So let your light shine too, and there will be more light. Okay, now. Ladies, this is Jack. This is Captain Jacob telling you another one of my stories. So once I I used I I never my hand was never always a lion paw. Once I used to have a normal hand. So I was search I was searching for a treasure. I was on an island, but then danger surrounded me. And you know what? A a big old tiger it jumped on me. I tried to defend myself with my sword, but it just wasn't enough. He grabbed my hands and ripped it off. You know what, though? I did exactly the same thing, and I and I attached it, I attached it to my hand. So you know what? We're even. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Okay, folks, <laughs> that's it for the magic box, and we've had a lot of fun, and we and we learned some things. So I want you to remember to always return to the magic. Okay, hey everybody, thank you for watching the magic box. I'm John Carrington. Our theme today was money magic, and I know you're going to become a great reader of books and someday earn some money magically by reading to achieve. I'm John Carrington. This is Magic Box. Bye bye. <laughs>